in terms of what we intend on using the seat that we have gained for, we intend on using it for Guyana. We have no other, no other purpose except to serve this country. Uh, what we intend on doing is sitting down and talking with the new movement and the new and united Guyana and see how we could take that seat and utilize it to hold the incoming administration accountable. What has happened, the same kind of accountability that was asked of this outgoing administration, if I were to be so presumptuous, is what we are going to have to do to the incoming administration. We will have to ensure that that administration, regardless of who sits there, is held to account to the people and that we can never go down this path again. Do you think the observation reports have cast the shadows out on the electoral process? I don't think so at all. I think what they've done and, you know, I'm very grateful that the media was part of this exercise. Granted, not in there, but to ask of the political leaders the very difficult questions. And even though we are stakeholders at the political level inside there, we've asked them for proof of anything to support their allegations and there have been no proof whatsoever. And I think that is all in the public domain right now. So I don't see how the observation report would impact anything at this point. Um, the APNU AFC did not sign the certificate, but every other party that contested in Region 4 uh, was there to sign. So I think it went very smoothly. Do you think the observation uh, reports can uh, cast a shadow doubt on the electoral process at this time? My view, no, because uh, the order that was issued was very clear. And therefore, we look forward to the next step where the CEO is going to put together his, uh, his report and present that to the GCOM. And GCOM would then do a declaration. Do you care to elaborate on the change in the figures that you would have noted from this declaration for this particular region and the previous declarations? Well, we know that the declaration that was first issued by um, GCOM varies with this current one. But this declaration now, well, it's not a declaration as a yet. This certification matches what we have on the SOPs. So when you compare SOP with the certification of these SORs, they are basically the same thing. Where you had the variance is the numbers by which Mr. Mingo would have uh, declared. Um, so obviously there's a mismatch there. And so with this recount, we have been able to correct that. I think that the observation report has already cast more than a shadow of doubt on the process. The process from day one, we went into the very first box, we have been seeing numerous anomalies and it has been coming to front. So yes, I believe that has already been done and it's up to the CARICOM team right about now and then the CEO also to send that report through to the Commission. I would love to start off by thanking the youths of Guyana. The youths have shown that they are courageous, they've shown that they're brave, they've shown that they can get up and do things and they have done that. We can see that from the start. The youths have come out and I estimate about 85% of the convention center was filled with youths at about the third, third week at the end of this. And I would love to thank the youths and I'd love to encourage them further. The Guyanese youths, wherever youths are coming into our country now, get involved, get involved and keep pushing, keep pushing forward because this nation needs people like us, people like me, people like you to get behind each other and to support each other at this junction in our, nat in our nation. Uh, what we now expect from the CEO is a summary of these 10 certificates as, uh, con which contain the results of each uh, district and we expect from him a concatenation or a summary of the observation reports that, uh, that he would be part of this um, each district. Um, as you know, the, the CEO had asked for five days after the last box was counted. Well, this is day two, and I believe um, we are ahead of schedule. We are, I personally am expecting this um, report from the CEO within a matter of days. And as portion to the order, three days sub subsequent to the receipt of that uh, report from the CEO, we have to make a declaration. So whatever we do in the, in the meanwhile, at the commission level, uh, we will deal with that. As we speak, there is no commission meeting scheduled, and the obvious reason for that is the fact that we, um, we have not received the 
report of the CEO. I anticipate as soon as that report from the CEO is in the hands of the chairman, she will summon a meeting for us to discuss the next step.